this is a my ultimate windows 11 setup i know from outside it looks normal but deep inside there is something special going on which makes this a ultimate windows 11 setup or installation this is actually a update video of my previous video which i made almost a month ago i know the titles doesn't match just ignore that but if you want to get detailed information why and how i did it then you should watch my previous video. I started this as a experiment and I think I'm going into the right direction. Even though I have broken this Windows 11 installation many times in this process. And guess what? I'm still using this broken Windows 11 because it's actually not broken. It's way better than the standard Windows 11 installation. So in this update, I'm here to tell you guys that my experiment is successful. So the thing is, with the windows 11 right now if you're using ssd they become really really slow over time this is the unknown bug which makes train command not working properly for ssd i don't know what the microsoft is doing they are adding new feature every single day but they are not fixing their operating system so to fix that issue i have this ultimate windows 11 setup actually let's explore this and let me try to explain you guys what I did to make this a ultimate Windows 11 setup. Saying the ultimate thingy again and again have started to cringe me. <laughs> I should stop that. So basically right now I have two SSDs, cheap ones, which goes 500 megabytes per second read and write speed. We have C drive, which is only to install Windows 11 and do nothing. I never touch this drive. And we have D drive, which is also SSD. And this is the drive I touch. Not only that, I have moved bunch of files and folders, even the system folders and files to the D drive using a feature or function called symbolic link. So in my D drive, you can see I have a user folder with a custom icon and also windows folder. If I go to the user folder, you can see many system folders and files are actually there even the app data's local files and everything is here all these programs and files were actually installed onto c drive under user profile but i moved them to you know save the space plus I just don't want to touch the C drive because of the SSD's trim command bug. If I store too many files in C drive and delete them and again store new files, the C drive becomes really, really slow. So that's the reason I just don't want to touch the C drive. So right now I only moved those folders which I could move because some of the folders you can't move. If it was possible, I would love to move a program files folder, but it's really hard to do. If I do that, it will just break the system. You know, some of the programs won't ask you to select the location. For example, the Google Chrome um, browser. If you install Google Chrome browser, it never asks for location. It just gets installed, but it is possible to move them to the different location. I have installed some of the programs to the you know the other directory like d drive and i have moved some of the programs from the c drive that's what i did using the symbolic link and uh, yeah basically uh, it doesn't look much but if i go here into the drives if i go to the d drive which is my secondary drive which i always use and i right click this is how much space all the programs and files have taken in this drive 210 gigabyte which is a lot so basically i have saved 210 gigabyte of space in c drive even though c drive also fills up itself slowly uh, because we get the windows updates and you know windows will automatically store those updates in c drive all the caches and temporary files are still being generated in c drive so that's the reason you know this thing is still growing but slowly i like this tweet from enderman and yeah i also agree strongly agree actually the user folder in windows is literally being used as a dumpster yeah right now if you go to the users and your user profile folder 
Open that up and you'll see many, many, many useless things stored in it. So basically now how I did it, I did it using symbolic link and to make it even easier, I used a program called link shell extension, which makes making symbolic links or junction links easy. So basically uh, many folders you see here, they have this little icon, chain icon on them, which means they are not in here. Their actual location is somewhere else. So for example, let's take this downloads folder. If I go to the properties, it says that location is C drive, but there is something called link properties. If I go there, you can see it's a link symbolic link type junction and the actual location of this folder is D drive. So basically the Windows operating system or any other applications, for example, browser thinks that this downloads folder is still in C drive. So if I download anything from the internet, it will automatically download to this folder which is in d drive but they think that this is in c drive so by doing all of this right now i'm actually getting really good performance in my windows 11. my windows 11 never lagged once after doing this let me actually give you guys a demo uh, i have this c drive i'm gonna run a benchmark this is the read and write speed and this is really good i'm using a cheap ssds which goes only like 500 megabytes per second. And the results that I'm getting is actually really good, even after a month, because there is no SSD bug happening in my C drive because I don't do nothing in my C drive. Everything is happening in D drive. Now, if I go into the D drive and run the benchmark, actually D drive is a little bit slower than the C drive because everything is happening in D drive. I store files, delete files. So yeah, because of the bug, the trim command for SSD doesn't work properly. So I have to actually trim the SSD manually. And I am actually happy with that. It's better to trim a secondary SSD than a main SSD. Because if a main drive, C drive becomes really slow every time you try to open a application or any game or program they will take really really long time and system will freeze because there isn't enough speed to keep up with the requirement of the program or system so yeah i think you may have also noticed this if you have ssd and you're using windows 11 uh, your windows 11 just freezes when you open a game or program and you have to wait until that program or game opens and it feels like something is wrong with your pc and trust me there is nothing wrong with your pc it's just the operating system you just have to optimize your ssd or run a trim command manually which will fix this really slow and sluggish windows 11 if you have that issue right now i don't have to deal with that I never ever had my system frozen after doing this. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> so basically the experiment is successful. I don't never ever touch the C drive unless I have to. And I know some programs just like to install themselves into the C drive, but I use the symbolic link and move them to the other drive and then I'll be happy again. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. And my C drive never slows down. My system always feels like new. Wow, that was a lot of talk. <laughs> but that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to make a tutorial on how to use the symbolic link using link shell extension, which is the easiest way to use, then do the comment. I'll do a tutorial. And uh, yeah, that's it. And right now, this is the only way to, you know, fix the biggest bug in windows 11 which is the ssd uh, becoming slow and yeah for now that's it hope you enjoyed it hopefully someday microsoft will fix this issue and maybe we don't have to do this but still as i said again microsoft should isolate the system files and folders from the users folders plus uh, the program files and folders 
we should be able to move them around to whatever directory we want. We should have that freedom, you know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this? Um, but yeah, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.